So if he had lived one day, we named our LC Mills after him. So y'all remember dear and her family. And we thank for that. And Sherelle's birthday is on the same day, her sister. So we all pray for them. Y'all pray for little Andrew, he's in the hospital. But we believe in God for a good report. Hallelujah. He's so precious. <laughs> but everybody says that about every baby, huh? Yes. But he really is. <laughs> okay. Y'all pray for him. Father, receive these names that are on our hearts, especially those who are sick in our church. We pray for Mr. Baker, Ms. Williams. Father, we pray for Arthur. We pray, Father, for Brother Daniel. We pray, Father, for Mrs. Taylor. Father, we pray for all those who are ailing or aching in this church. Even right now, as your word goes forward, I pray that you would heal them, touch them. Father, we just pray in Jesus' name that you have your way in your service. Let no man be exalted. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Most of y'all pray for it every day, if not all of you. So there's some of you I know that you're not well, even if you pretend you are. But we know God is good. Hallelujah. Today, I, I really want to open up by uh, telling you to go with me to the Psalms. And we're not going to take long because we just want you to get this one word out of here today. You know, we like to keep it simple, huh? You know, he watches over you. Yes. The name of the message is he watches over me. I want you to receive it for you. Because no matter what you're going through, I like that song more today than I did the last time they sang it in the middle of it. Yes. God's with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to remember, he watches over you. It's hard to explain God. No one can really do that with words. We do the best we can when we meet to try to present as much of him as we could. But in this life and even in the next, I do not believe we will have all of God and all the knowledge of him that we should seek. Anybody who thinks they know enough, don't know nothing at all. Because we actually never really know enough about him. I strain to know more and understand more. But every day, he will give you a little bit of whatever you can handle about him. Today, I want you to know he is in everything. We saw that last Sunday. Everything consists of him. The whole universe, which is expanding all the time. He's the beginning of everything. He's the end of everything. He's the alpha. He's the omega. He's omnipotent. He's all-powerful, hallelujah. But he's also omnipresent. He's everywhere, all the time. All the time, the Father is everywhere. So it's no way that he can't watch over you where you go. If he's everywhere, then where can you go, like the psalmist says, and, be, and hide from him? He's everywhere. But the good news for believers is that He's not everywhere for no reason for you. He's everywhere and in everything because he's watching over you like a shepherd watches his flock. He's very mindful of you. If I don't have to quote all these scriptures today, but in Psalm 83, you know, he says, When I consider the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him? You have no idea how important your life is to God. But you have to begin with the cross, the blood of Jesus. Now you may not think you're living a good life. Most of us don't think we've arrived. But what we do know is if we make a beginning, he's faithful. Yes. He's faithful to watch over you. Faithful to keep you. Even when you don't think he's there, he's in the middle of it. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Today, I just want you to know there is nothing you're going through. There is no problem you have that God is not mindful of. He watches over you. Say, He watches over me. He watches over me. Hey, look, I'm going to go through some scriptures relatively fast, but I just want you to get that in your heart today because it's hard for us to understand God. But if you just get to know He is watching me. When I'm bad, He's there. When I'm good, He's there. When I fall, he's there. When I'm sick, he's there. When I'm healthy and doing well, he's there. Yes, sir. He's always watching. Always. This is a shameful thing that we can't comprehend that. 
But if you just get a little bit today, he is watching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, look, and I want you to see in particular the certain areas that God watches you for. The very first thing he does, he wants you conscious of him. Yes. That's when you get saved. Become conscious of God being active in your life. And he watches your consciousness. And he quickens you in your, in, your, in your inner man when you do wrong, when you go left, when you should go right. You see, he's mindful of your thoughts. He's mindful of your ways. He's very attentive to you. Hallelujah. Now you would say, well, I wish you wouldn't watch me so much. But you know what? That's the best thing he can do for you. Because you do have an enemy looking for you also. Oh, yes. It's good to have someone who can handle you. Yes. Today, I want you to say in your heart, he watches over me. And in verse, uh, chapter 31, we're going to begin with that one. And we're going to read from verse 1. Oh, boy. If you, O oh Lord, and, and this is in NIV, verse 1 of chapter 30, Psalm 31. In you, O oh Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Yes. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. Since you are my rock and my fortress, for the sake of your name, lead and guide me. Free me from the trap that is set for me, for you are my refuge. Yes. Well, you know, for you to have a trap set for you, somebody said it, yeah. and it sure wasn't God. Yeah. Free me from the trap that's set for me. He's your refuge. That's the one thing I want you to remember. You got to start off with that. He is your refuge. Yes. I heard Lucinda with the words she had to share today. God is your refuge. He's, your, he's the place you run to. He's your hiding place. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please understand that you have somewhere to go. Someone to hold on to. You know, I hate these pity parties when we always think about what we're missing when you have God in your life. Yes. When I think of what our parents gave us, our grandparents gave us, it might not be like they say silver or gold, but if they gave you Jesus, they gave you way enough. I tell my kids, if I don't do nothing else for you, if I don't leave you an inheritance, but I leave you Jesus, yes. I left you all you need. Hallelujah. Because if you got him, you got a refuge. Yes. You got a hiding place. Yes. Today, I want you to know he's always a place for you to run and spend some time with. Someone who knows everything about you, even the number of hairs on your head, he knows. It. Someone you don't have to explain yourself to. Say, here I am, Lord. You're watching over me. You already knew I would be coming in here talking to you today. You already knew that I'd be seeking your face this morning. Here I am, Lord. You're my refuge. Yes. My hiding place. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The other thing in this same psalm I want you to see is down in verse 14. It says, but I trust in you, O Lord. I say you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from my enemies and from those who pursue me. That's an, that's an awesome scripture. Do you trust Lord, the Lord this morning? Yes. Do you say, my times are in your hands? Come on, Jesus. Some of you worried about when you're going to go home to the Lord, when something's going to happen to you. But you know what? He is your deliverer Hallelujah. and your shelter. Yes. yes. Your time is in his hands. Yes. yes. What better person? to have your life in, in his hands. Hallelujah. 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 It's not when you're going to go. It's who you're going to go with when you leave. It's who you trust and why you're here. <coughs> the times of your life are in his hands. Don't worry about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't worry about it at all. Don't, don't think about it. The times of your life, if he is your refuge, if he is your deliverer, if he is your shelter, your times are in his hands. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 He's watching over you. He's mindful of you. Yes. You can't get this about God. It's going to be hard to live in this old rugged world. It's hard to live. You don't know that God is watching. He's mindful of you. If you don't get it in your heart that he's your deliverer in the time of trouble, 
Someone's out there setting traps for you. You have enemies. How many of y'all don't think you have enemies? I used to think that. That's a big joke. You may say, well, I don't do nothing to anybody. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you have enemies. Yes. You need to be delivered from. People who hate you without cause. People who are worried about what you have. How, you, how beautiful you are. What you wear. What you drive. Ain't none of their business, right? But you have enemies. Yes. Whose hearts are wicked toward you. And when people's hearts are wicked, Satan moves. Yes, he does. And uses them. To be a roadblock for you. A stumbling block. But be of good cheer. Yes. You have a deliverer. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why I say you need to love them. Because you have somebody watching over you. Yes. You don't have to worry day and night about what your enemy is doing to you. Good God Almighty. God is mindful of you. Yes. Come on, Jesus. He's watching over you. He will deliver you from your enemies. Yes. Yes. Oh my. That's one thing I know. And I bet anybody who's lived a Christian life any length of time, you know the Lord will Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People can come in your hospital room just to see if you're dead yet. Yes. They ain't come to see you. That's they didn't right. come to love you. You have enemies. But the Lord knows everything. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Today, I want you to not to worry about them. Keep your eyes on Him. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He'll keep you in perfect peace. Yes. If you don't have no enemies, I say you ain't living for Him. Because the Bible says the world hates you. But God is your deliverer. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He will pursue your enemies for you. Run them down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He'll run them down. Yes. When the prophet saw all these people coming at him, he told his servant, he said, well, you know, it may look like just me and you, but it's more of us than it is of yes. you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's mindful of yes. you. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 He's always watching over you. Some of y'all think you got to have somebody helping you, watching over you. But you know what? The one person you need is your deliverer, yes. your shelter. Oh, your yes. refuge in the time oh, yes. You need Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hey, verse 28 says, In the shelter, I think that's 28, my eyes have to fail. Now 20. Mm -hmm. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from the entries of men. In your dwelling, you keep them safe mm -hmm. from accusing tongues. Yes. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. yes. You ever had people just accuse you, don't even know you? Call you all kind of things, think you up to this, and you up to that, you did this, you went around. What? The worst thing you can do is say, I feel sorry for myself. I gotta go through these accusations. You know what you should say? The Lord is my high place. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 He's my dwelling. He'll keep me safe. Yes. He's in person. Come on, Jesus. I always thought you always just when you find people do you wrong, you always gotta confront them. You know, that's not true. I'm not doing that. You have to learn how to say, my peace is in God. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. If he don't, my conscience don't accuse me, then I'm all right with him. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Because Hallelujah. he knows my thoughts. Yes. He knows everything I'm thinking and feeling. Because he's watching over me. That's right. He is my shelter, my hiding place. He is my refuge and my deliverer. He saves me. You begin reading with me at, at the end of uh, this chapter in verse 22. He says, In my alarm I said, I am cut off from your sight, yet you heard my cry for mercy. Don't you remember crying out for mercy before? How many of y'all never cried out for mercy? All the time for mercy. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. I like the old people say, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. Y'all been saying, y'all not heard it before. Y'all not done. I'm the only one from the country. All right. Dear claims she's from the country. She ain't been in the country in a long time. But she always say, I'm from the country. All right. Me and her know about have mercy, though. Have mercy. <laughs> Have mercy on me. You yes, don't deserve Lord. nothing anyway. 
Come on, you need to cry out for God to save you. Yes. Have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy. He said, yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his saints. The Lord preserves the faithful, but the proud he pays back and forth. Be strong and take heart, all you who hope in the Lord. Next, next chapter. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven. Yes. Does he mean? Yes. Whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man whose sin the Lord does not count against him. And whose spirit is no deceit. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Did you know yes. the Lord takes care of your consciousness of sin? He washes away those that sin. He watches over you so much when you repent. As soon as you repent, he's washed that sin consciousness away. Sometimes the devil wants you to think guilty and condemn you, but God is so watchful over you, he saves you. Hallelujah. 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 You lose that thought of sin. Yes. Some people like to pretend they're free of sin. Others know they are because they understand the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. 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 He watches over me. Yes. He removes my consciousness yes. of sin. Come on, Jesus. If my conscience doesn't convict me, then my sins have been washed away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. The world lives in sin consciousness. That's why they can never get out of it. Because mm -hmm. they're always thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It's still always on their mind. Mm -hmm. For God has washed you and saved you. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Hey, look, I want you to drop down with me a little bit just for the sake of time. Verse 7 of chapter 32. Once again, he says, You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble. And surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. The Lord is your protection. He's your teacher. He's your God. Did you know that? He is your protection. Yes. They got plenty of people with many guns in their house, but they can't save them. All this talk about guns. The same people that got a gun get killed by them. Every day, somebody got a gun and get killed by a gun. But they say the answer is a gun. The answer is Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the only one that can truly protect you. He's your teacher. He's your God. You need to know where to go, which way to turn. He's watchful. He's watching you. Oh, yeah. Ask him. Some of us forget to say, God, teach me more about you. Guide me. And your protection is assured. God put a hedge of protection around you. Angels, you'll see in a minute, are watching over you. Oh, it's a wonderful thing to just take a glimpse and open your eyes and see them sometimes. When you're in fear, you by yourself and you're alone. Open your eyes and see. There's more with you yes. than there is a man. Yes. His angels, you'll see. They're with you. Hallelujah. 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 If you go with me to verse 4, the next chapter. Is that 33? Yes. yes. <clears throat> For the word of the Lord is right and true. This is what I want you to know. He is faithful in all he does. Hallelujah. God, Isaiah said he's perfect in faithfulness. Now you know you can't trust too many people 100%. But God is perfectly faithful. If he said I'm watching over you, yes. he's watching over you. Hallelujah. If he said I'm your protection, I'm your shelter, I'm your hiding place, he saves you, he protects you, he's your teacher, he's your guide, he's faithful to yes. everything he said. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Yes. Everything he has spoken to you, he is faithful. Yes. He will never fail you. Yes. Yeah, you may go through a little time when you need a little patience, a little perseverance. A little endurance. But God is faithful. Yes. He watches over his word to perform. Oh, yes, sir. You just need to wait. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, look, if you go down with me uh, to verse 9 of the same chapter. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it, and it stood firm. Everything he speaks will stand firm in your life. You don't have to worry. If he spoke it, He's going to watch over to perform. Hallelujah. He's not only watching you, he's watching the words he gave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. He's stand firm. Say, I'm going to stand firm. I'm going to stand firm. Y'all say that. 
Yes. But in the middle of it. Amen. Amen. Still hold on. Hallelujah. 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 It says in verse 11, But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. He's faithful. Say he's faithful. He's faithful. That's your word. Stand on it. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then I want you to go with me to uh, verse 18. It says, But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love, to, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. Hallelujah. We wait and hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. May your unfailing love rest upon us, O oh Lord, even as we put our hope in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you know the eyes of the Lord are forever on those who fear him, respect him, reverence him? Yes. One scripture says, the eyes of the Lord are forever on the righteous. Yes, Lord. He's watching over you. Thank you, Jesus. Do you believe it? Yes. Boy, yes. Oh, I hope when you leave here today, you understand that you got somebody watching over you. Hallelujah. You know, when you read the paper in the news, the news is going real crazy every time you tune in. Something happens to somebody. Somebody's child, somebody's child. Don't you wonder how it's not happening to you? Somebody watching over you and your life. I don't take it for granted. Not for the people in this church or for my own children. I don't take it for granted. But I got to depend on God to watch over me. I sure can't do it. I'm not everywhere they are, but he is. Yes, yes. The Lord watches over them. Say, the Lord watches over them. Yes, the Lord watches over them. Hallelujah. 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 You just got to trust him. Yes. And you just got to believe him. Yes. And you just got to understand he's faithful. Yes. You need to sleep at night. Come on, Jesus. Trusting in the Lord. He's your hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The eyes of the Lord are forever on those who fear him. Yes. He's always there. Keeping them alive. That's the one thing I want you to know. What does God do for you? He keeps you alive. <coughs> He's a living God. Yes, hallelujah. He keeps you alive. You say, what is watching over you? You living. Yeah, you get sick, but you get wet. Hallelujah. Because the Lord's watching over you. Come on, yes, man. hallelujah. Yeah, the doctor said this. Yes, the pain says this, but the Lord's watching over you. Yes. Oh, yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's, keeping, say he's keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive. That's the only reason why we got breath in our bodies right now. Because he who put it in there is watching over it. Yes, sir. He's watching over you. Yes. You can sleep at night. I don't fear a thing, and I used to wonder why until I got saved. If I was stupid back then, my dad said, that's just stupid during the night. <laughs> But I just don't have a lot of fear. And I'm thankful to God as I'm saved. I know why. He's keeping me. Yes. Hallelujah. How many of y'all know God's keeping you alive? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends, let's go to chapter 34. We're going to finish with these verses. Oh, verse 7 says, I think that's verse 7. Read wrong, just correct me. I can't see. The angel of the Lord, said the angel of the Lord, encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Hallelujah. Who's encamped around you? Angels. angels. You, you know what I'm saying? When you start feeling like you're scared or something, you need to say, God, show me an angel right now. I need to know they're here. Hallelujah. I was in my house one morning just recently, and... Uh, We've been going through a little bit of a trial. That's why I say that song sounds better to me today than it ever did. Yes, sir. In the middle of it. In the middle of it. Come on, Jesus. But you got, you got to preach to yourself sometimes. Yes, sir. People think preachers have it any different. We ain't got it no different. We have hell on our hands. But God is faithful. Yes, yes. People look at our lives and they have no idea yes. how me and my wife press forward with everything. Yes, sir. What's the Trying to get it right. We always get it right. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he's watching over us. Yes. Right, right. Hallelujah. Good thing we ain't watching. Yes. But we will lose this battle. Right, right. Yes. But his angels are encamped, say encamped. Yes. Around. Yes. That means they ain't going nowhere. Yes. They got a little warm fire and a little tent hanging around you. <laughs> they ain't going to step. Wherever you go, they encamped. 
You go get your crazy self on one of them floats out there that he's still in camp. <laughs> uh, he wish he wouldn't do that. He put him, you know, he make that job a little harder. He's in camp. Yes. Wow. yes. All your life he's been in camp around. Because he knew who you were before you knew. The angels of the Lord say they are encamped around me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel good. Because yes. sometimes you don't know who's watching out for you, but you know he's faithful. Yes. It says, taste and see, the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his saints. For those who fear him lack nothing. Come on, yeah. Lack nothing. Yes. If you reverence the Lord, you may think you need something, but you ain't lacking nothing. Come on, Jesus. It's funny how the devil makes us think we ain't more. When the Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. Yes. yes. I shall not more. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time for you to start thinking about him instead of you. He's encamped around you. He's your shelter. He's your refuge. He's your salvation. He's faithful. He keeps you alive. He's your teacher. He's your God. Yes, he is your protection. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Verse 17 says, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. Yes, Lord. He delivers them from how much trouble? Oh. All their troubles. If you ain't Christ, you tell me one bit of trouble he didn't deliver you from. Yes. And if you're in trouble now, you're in the middle of it, he's going to deliver you. Yes. Oh. Now, my deliverer is coming. Oh, he always comes. Don't waste no time thinking. He is faithful. Hallelujah. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the broken heart and save those who are crushed in spirit. A righteous man may have many troubles. Did you know that? Some people say that's the devil. If you, you got all these troubles, then it must be the devil. You must be doing something wrong. But the Bible said a righteous man <laughs> have plenty of troubles. Yeah. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Oh, we love to think that everybody's going through something, must have done something wrong. Mm -hmm. A righteous man has a lot of trouble. Yes. Yep. But only your enemies think like Job's friends did. Oh, yeah. Your trouble must have come because of something you did. Yeah. Maybe it's because of something you didn't do. Because you're a righteous person. Hallelujah. 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 The righteous man may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers them from how many? All. all of them. He protects all his bones. Not one of them will be broken. Hallelujah. Evil will slay the wicked. Is that right? Yes. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord redeems his servants. Say he redeems me. He redeems me. No one will be condemned. He takes what? Yes. Refuge. Who is your refuge today? Jesus. Where is your hiding place? Jesus. Who are you trusting in? Yes. Who is your deliverer? Yes. Who is your shelter? Yes. What is your hiding place? Yes. Who saves you from your troubles? Yes. Who is your protector? Jesus. Who encamps angels around you? Yes. Who is your teacher? Yes. Who is your guide? Yes. Who will keep you alive? Yes. Who is faithful? Today, I just want you to say in your heart, I don't have no worries. The only thing I need to fear is God. Yes, that's the only thing I need to fear. I don't have to fear of the devil, <coughs> my enemies, trouble. I only fear God. Yes. Because he's watching me. Hallelujah. And his angels are camped around him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Jesus. He watches. Yes. His eyes are attentive to me. Yes. He knows my thoughts and my consciousness. He washes away my sinfulness. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. He is always mindful. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. 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 I just want you to praise him. Hallelujah. Because you know what? This was about him. Hallelujah. Not even about you. That's right. It's about his faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Not yours. Yes. He's a faithful God. Yes. Let him do 
what he will for your life. Yes. He's faithful yes. to his saints, yes. to those who fear him, to those who trust him with righteousness. Yes. Today you need to say, God, I just praise you. Yes. Hallelujah. Because despite me, yes. you're watching. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. I know where I've been. Yes. But I'm alive. Yes. Where would you be? Hallelujah. When you're driving, he's there. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're too tired to drive like I've been sometimes, he'll keep your eyes open. Yes. Because yes. angels are the camp. Yes. Yes. Your children, your grandchildren. Hallelujah. They're around Andrew in the hospital. Yes. What more can I do for you yes. than what my Lord can do for you? Come on, Jesus. God is great yes. and greatly to be praised. Yes. Hallelujah. We just want to worship him. Father, we thank you for this word. Oh, Lord, let us get it in our hearts that I don't care who comes after us. I don't care what the enemy does. But, Lord, I'm trusting you for my protection, for my provision. You take care of me. You watch over me. I'm not afraid to go where I have to go. Your angels are encamped around me. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Lord, I know you're watching. Yes, yes. Take care of your people, Lord. Yes. Lord God, today is a season of reverie, yes. but you take care of us. Yes. No matter where we go, even in our foolish ways, yes. you are with me. Yes. You're always yes. with me. Comforting yes. me. Hallelujah. Watching over me. You're my refuge. You're my strength. You're my redeemer. You're all that I need. You save me. You protect me. You teach me. You guide me. You take care of all the enemies of mine. You heal me. Come on, Jesus. You watch me. How many of y'all, Jesus is keeping alive? Hallelujah. Let's just rejoice in him for a minute. If the choir wants to come up and sing something, let's just praise him for a minute. And then I want you to leave, and I want you to leave rejoicing. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where you go. He's with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all not with me. Y'all look at some of y'all look like you got it. But you know me, I preach another hour if you know me. You know that, don't you? How many of y'all will be preaching out loud? Oh, we got people raising their hands. I didn't mean to do that. But today, I just want you to praise Him. I just want you to praise Him. How many of y'all know how to praise God? Hey, look, say He's watching over me. I just want to praise Him. Because He's faithful. And when you leave today, tell somebody He's watching over me. Don't worry about me. God's watching over me. It's nice for you to think of me, but don't worry about me, because God is watching over me. Hallelujah. I'm not worried about nothing anyway. Don't let me try to ask God. And he watches. Say he watches. He watches. This is really not a place. The heart's feeling like it's going to break. Yeah. I wish you'd never let go of my head.